Oh, no, this is the Sarah Hennessy. Sarah, your emotions tell it all. He's, he's my dog in Ireland. I walk him and he's at home. Well, he's coming back to greet you. He is coming back. He's, he's, he's everything to me. Honest to God, he is. He's absolutely everything to me. Like, if it wasn't for my dad, we wouldn't be here. From the moment those traps opened, you must have known, Sarah. I was... I was just thinking about it all week. And I didn't want to think about winning because I didn't want to jinx it on myself. He just won the derby. He just won the derby. Oh, my goodness. Go, go and greet him. Go and greet him. That is emotion. That is raw emotion. Sarah, Hennes uh, Sarah Hennessy there. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. Fair, of course, with the Hennessys. And there's so many tears and hugs around here. Susan, can I just get a quick word with you? Because you actually said this could happen. Absolutely. He pinged. He, he did what we hoped he would do. He pinged and he was brave and he repelled. I was watching the in-laws or the outlaws coming behind with number two, but he ran his heart out. I was so proud of him. But this night is all about Brian and Kathleen Murphy, who have been stalwarts of our kennel for so long. It's, it's a dream come true, and I'm so happy that we were able to win it for them. It's does it feel special. as good as the last time? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it does. It's very, very special. Thank wow. God. Amazing. Congratulations. Oh, thank well you done. so much. Thank you. Mixed emotions, but look, if there was anyone to win it, I was delighted they won it rather than us. Look, it's brilliant. Paul's dog did everything right. He was a credit to him. He popped out. He, did, he got to the corner. He just had gone too far on us, but he took his chance, and he was a worthy winner of the Derby. And look, once you get around that bend, doesn't matter what price you are, 10 to 1, 20 to 1, like we were, nobody knows, and he struck out. And fairness, he was the best, best dog in the night. And Brilliant. I've seen you at these derbies before, waving your Irish yes. flag. You're very yes. uh, patriotic, Absolutely. so I'm guessing you're glad that the trophy is heading no, back with look, you. It doesn't matter. We were delighted. Of course, it means more to me. The last time I think mm -hmm. you saw me was JT Jet, but you didn't know the connection that time. But... Um, that, that look, it's brilliant for an Irish dog to win a course. We, we all come here. We don't come for the crack. We come because we think we have a chance. And in fairness to the lads, their dog is a credit to him. He was absolutely done to tea in the night. He popped out and the rest was history, isn't it? Absolutely. So, he did everything he had to. Uh, there were two more daughters of Susan and Paul Hennessy, Grace and Rachel, who uh, I'm going to try and have a, a quick word with if I can find them. Let's have a quick word with uh, Rachel. First of all, congratulations. How are you feeling right now? What do you say when you make it to an English Derby, but never, not to mind going ahead and winning it? And I can't say enough thank you to the sponsors because when it went from Toast, we didn't know where we were going, who would sponsor it. So to all of them, it's fantastic. Everyone at Nottingham, it's been fantastic. To Brian and Kathleen Murphy, who's been with us since as long as I can remember. I've never known our kennel without them. It's just we won the English Derby. <laughs> Of course, it's fantastic. It's, it's brilliant. He was out and gone, and, and that's what he needed to do, and he done it, so it's fantastic. It is amazing for your family. I must uh, quickly speak to uh, Grace as well, Priceless Plate. They're getting a well-earned drink. Grace, can I borrow you quickly just to get your thoughts? Oh, I've never, I have, like, this is, like, the first derby I've been to in so long that we've won. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. Last time it was Emma, Sarah, Sarah, now... Grace, like, I don't I mean to make you cry. I was shout out to because I was doing exams and I was like, we're here. <laughs> so you oh, missed JT Jet, did you? Yeah, because I had my leave in in Ireland, so now I'm here. And it's just unbelievable. Like, you can't be any more proud of Dad and Kevin for doing all. Like, oh, why can't I stop crying? <laughs> I just hope I don't have red lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> you don't have lipstick on your teeth. But why? For people watching at home who aren't here tonight to see the crowds and the atmosphere and you know, how special that lineup was. Yeah, no, Why does it like, mean so much? It's just a 24-hour thing, do you know, that kind of way, like, there's just no break, do you know, that kind of way, there's no, like, relaxing period. It's a lifestyle. Absolutely, like, do you know, Mom walks them every single evening with Taylor, and do you know what, it just doesn't stop, they just, they go and get going, and it's just so nice to see, like, all the payoff, it's just, it's kind of like, oh my God, it's all worthwhile, do you know, that kind of way, like, because we get them out in the evening every single night, and like, even for everybody here, like it's just such an honour. Like it's just amazing. Like the atmosphere, the feeling right now. It's like there's nothing that could beat this. Like, and you're just so proud of everyone that's involved because they really do work so hard. So it's just nice for everyone. Like everyone is just amazing for getting this far. All the dogs. So fair play to everybody, not just 
good old Blake. Oh, I'm such a cry baby. <laughs> you're not. You're emotional because it's special. It's so well so done. Special. Enjoy Thank the night. Special. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Paul Hennessy just taking congratulations from everybody and uh, he just used one word to describe that win to me and it was easy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was a fantastic race. Oh, mother of God, Billy McTaz came out in the wind-up. I said, don't let the in-laws be. Well, they're not just... And then you call them in-laws because yeah. your daughter goes out with Liam Dowling's Shane, daughter, doesn't yeah. she? Shane, yeah, with, Shane, with, uh, with Liam's son. So um, they're an item for some time and... I'm not ready to hand over the mantle just yet. The first, I went down to shake hands with Charlie Lister after the event, and, and Charlie's a legend of the sport, you know, as you know. And it's just lovely to see all those people here. And uh, for Brian and Kathleen, they're at this game. They probably had Graham game for 40, 50 years. And to win an English derby for them, it's amazing. But for you, of course, you've won the Scottish, you've won the Irish, you've won the English before, and now here you are again. Yeah, I mean, you're up there with the best trainers of all time. Oh, no, I wouldn't call it. We were jammy, that's all. We were just lucky. <laughs> No, no, Christ Almighty, I make more mistakes than, than anybody. But we were just looking. Look, I mean, the draw, we wanted that box. We got it. He came out of it. I mean, you know, you can't put all that together and this is for you. And how much was it? And what about Price's Flake? I mean, what a dog oh, he's been for you through this competition. He's really honest. He, he has been the dog of this competition in the sense that he battled every night and kept coming forward. And he's been running here has been awesome. And again tonight, he moved in for half Magical Vale. That was probably the winning of the derby for him, you know. And um, he's just a tremendous competitor. And he just improved the whole way through the competition. And happy days. you got a trophy to go and pick up. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Julie. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Well, the presentation oh, taking place. Dad. Brian has the trophy. Look at that. Yes. That's the most historic yes. trophy in greyhound yes. racing. Yes. yes. How does that feel? It's, it's a lifetime ambition, I can tell you. I mean, the reason I got into dogs was to drop it. I know was to, was to win a great, an, an English greyhound derby. And funny enough, not an Irish, but an English one, because my father always followed the uh, English derby results. You know, so. Um, when we started, we said that's the ambition, and uh, to do it is fantastic. Well, you fulfilled that that magical life moment, we haven't you? We we came close a few years ago with Barefoot Bullet, you know, and uh, he finished third. He was a bit unlucky, uh, but this fellow is amazing, and all credit to the Hennessy family because this dog was not well during the winter. He's a total summer dog. He hates cold weather. This has been the story all week, and and, and the weather could hardly have been and better, could it? He is, and he's cold, and everything has come right. So we were very easy on him over the winter, and we, we decided we'd save him for the derbies, and uh, my God, what a result. It's worked out perfectly. I must talk to your, your, your lovely lady wife here, Kathleen. Goodness me. Yourself and Brian and Paul and Susan, you've, you've, you've won the Greyhound Derby. I can't believe it. I mean, usually I, we miss a lot of the dogs' races because living in the Cayman Islands, it's not easy. But luckily, we've been in Ireland in a holiday home for the past two weeks. So this was, Brian would definitely be here tonight. I may not have been able, but honestly, to be here tonight... It's just a dream come true. And when the traps open, I don't know where you were viewing or what your view was like. We were up in the Breast Classics, but I saw him come out, you know, as I, I expected him to do. My, my good friend Trevor Draper, you know Barry Draper? Of course I do, yes. Uh, told me he dreamt last night, in fact, he kept him awake all night, that our dog bombed out of three and won. And in fact, he uh, even told me a little story about the back breeding. There's a little bit of Drapers in the back breeding. <laughs> so they're, they're claiming it as well? It indeed, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, Catherine. Because the last few weeks we've been watching the heats from Cayman and he was doing well, well. And then last Saturday night we were in Galway and he didn't do so well. And I'm thinking, oh my God, this isn't great. But. We're here tonight, and I am ecstatic. Kathleen, your trainer can't hear what you're saying, but uh, what would you like to say to Paul Hennessy? Paul, husband, and Susan, they're great friends. They're the loveliest people, and we love them to bits. And they've done great, great work. There he is, right behind you. <laughs> oh, God, well, no, we'll get a discount. Don't worry. But it's been, to be here tonight for this is amazing. Daryl, what you should ask her is, why are all my dogs called barefoot? And why are hers called priceless? Answer the question. Answer your own question, Brian. Because she said to me a few years ago, barefoot may be a very, very, good, uh, you know, official and accurate embodiment of your status in life, but it's not mine. So I had to go to the, <laughs> I had to go to the extreme, which was priceless. And I think I am 
and priceless. Well, listen, you are both priceless. Absolutely brilliant. Well done to you both. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much.